All right. Well, I I just had some thoughts going through my mind, and I just figured I'd get it all out there while I can. I didn't know how to do it other than, I don't know, just put it on my phone and record what I see on the screen right now like this. Um, this is just a theory to kind of go in with a bunch of different theories that are kind of floating around uh, with, well, with just everything. So anyway, these this channel here is uh, Action Adventure Twins. And these dudes cool, or it's, it's mainly one brother, <clears throat> and anyway, they go splunking. That's that's their gig. And anyway, just they've gone in some caves, and I go, man, this kind of looks like uh, like maybe it was an old tunnel system that has just kind of grown over with flowstone and whatever, you know that geology has brought through there. Uh, like even some of the things that we're told are lava tubes almost seem like they could maybe be, uh, you know, old infrastructure, things of that nature. Anyway, so these guys are in a cave and I, they had, there's this portion uh, I'll just back it up here a little bit. And I was like, this kind of looks. Okay, right there. Okay, watch. Now that could just be, you know, some sort of a port now that has flowstone coming out of it. Man. It'd be hard to get it on my whole screen here. Uh, you know, just this whole cave looked like, uh, and there's a waterfall. Anyway, so this is all kind of, I'm getting too in depth just about where they're at. So anyway, check this out, this cave. Now look at that. That, to me, this right here looks like man-made two sections this column here i mean that that to me looks man-made right of course but kind of a cave now who knows what it, it looks like you know or they would say heat or obviously some kind of heat came through and they would say, oh, it's, uh, you know, lava or magma or whatever that made these tubes, but I don't know. And so I had those thoughts going in my mind. And then I was, and then, I, so I was thinking about uh, John Levi and, some others that have shown, like, even though, <laughs> you know, Paul Cook, I love the guy, but he's, like, so stuck on his one thing that, I don't know, he, he, he's been doing great work. I really like Paul Cook, and anyway, he doesn't understand why John Levi doesn't like him, but, or at least, I don't know, I haven't been paying attention to Paul in a little bit, so I don't really know, but, uh, Anyway, just look at this right here. So I started thinking about bricks and whatever. And look, look at that. That looks like melted kind of brick or whatever. Like why, you know, just like Paul would talk about, like those are mortar lines or whatever. But, you know, this has been obviously going on for however long right and you start getting this flow stone or whatever the earth does but i mean look at that that it just that whole thing 
looks created somehow. So then I started thinking about the brick makers and, you know, all the old technology and stuff. And, you know, how were the bricks moved? And uh, I was thinking about the Bible uh, in Genesis. I, I can't remember. It might, have, it might even be... Uh, whoever became the mighty hunter, Nimrod, uh, who figured out brick making or whatever, right? And it's down on the plain of Shinar. Well, there's some other, you know, theories like uh, Mud Fossil University who has the the idea that that you know he thinks that the ca old cave systems and whatever were the giant trees and things of that nature uh you know and we look at you know we have uh devil's tower and i, I don't know just anyway look at the look at the video uh no more forests left on earth and so then I, I was thinking about the Garden of Eden and man and all that kind of stuff and, and wondering about the, you know, the different, the bloodlines and whatever and how Adam, Adam was placed in the garden uh, and wondering, you know, when uh, Cain killed Abel and he says, hey, uh, you know, don't send me out there. We, the whole Mark of Cain thing, because somebody else is going to know what he did and, and uh, kill him. And so uh, I'm wondering then if some of these old quarries were... So anyway, then... We, the old, maybe some of the old quarries were these giant, uh, old giant fauna that it was already quarried in essence, you know, because like each, each cell is like a big block, you know, and then people figured out how to how they could rearrange them and move them and maybe they you know i don't know i don't know anything uh maybe these blocks were not as heavy at the time like the you know the process of of petrification and and whatever uh it's like concrete, you know, concrete gets harder and harder with time, they tell us, right? Well, maybe it's the same sort of a thing. And like when the pyramids were being built, like they could, uh, they could move and cut all that stuff a whole lot easier, you know, because, well, maybe... That's like when the flood happened, that was when this, you know, one big giant tree like Jack and the Beanstalk or whatever that went way up into uh, wherever and, you know, and then there was this canopy of giant trees and, and whatever, maybe when... Uh, Adam and Eve got kicked out of the garden or, or whatever, you know, maybe, or, you know, maybe that's when one of these giant trees got felled and then maybe like the last big one or whatever happened at, uh, happened at the flood. But then at different times, 
like people have been, you know, finding these kind of like these quarries that are already quarried pretty much, if, if that makes sense. And so, you know, back when they're just like we see today with uh, furniture and or let's let's say home building when they show the difference of the studs that were used uh like the old the old forest studs how the rings were uh all really packed together and like the wood is really tough and and awesome and then now like the new two by fours the rings are yes it's like a different wood or whatever but just in general kind of think about the difference of like an old growth sort of a wood to what we see today. Now imagine, you know, if these huge trees and, and these are the cells, kind of like what the mud fossil dude is talking about. And he shows pictures of, you know, these big things. And, and he shows pictures of the caves and whatnot that look like cells and look like animals and, or, you know, organs and whatnot. Well, <clears throat> maybe, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm saying, except that things are just different. <laughs> it's, it's true that like what, uh, uh, what English guy, long fell or, uh, shit. It's true. Horatio more exists in this world than all in all of your philosophy. Uh, I don't know why I'm drawing a blink on that famous author that wrote all the plays, but I am. So, uh, yeah, wanted to just put that out there before I forget all of it. <laughs>